this is a, a small feature, but it can be quite useful um, as we uh, move into more and more situations where DHS2 is used across different time zones. Um, you can determine the time zone of the server that you are uh, connecting to through the API system info, info endpoint. Um, so we can see here we have not only the server date at the time this request was made, but also the server time zone. Um, and in the future, we may um, deprecate some of these um, uh, more relative time res responses in these endpoints to get absolute values. Um, but it still is quite useful to have this um, uh, uh, time zone specified in the result of that API request.